Yes, 1,200 metres, they sprinting away from the 1,200 metre marker. This one, a rather untidy beginning. Anima Chalzadek began well. Magnum Opus is also right there shortly after the start as they settle down to race. Joshua's Gold has a good position shortly after the start. They are followed by towards the outside, Cat in Command. Message in a bottle and Master Archer towards the inside. They're also pacing it with them and they're showing good early toe early on. They are followed by Bonsai's a couple of lengths off the leader as they settle down to race. Amir's in further back behind that and then comes Gurkha Chief. As they move now towards about the 500 Platinum Coasters on the inside. Master Archer's the leader now. So it's Master Archer who now takes it up. Trying to run on from behind there is fully charged. Message in a bottle, Anima Chalzarek towards the outside, Joshua's Gold, also trying to get into the race's fabric, but it's Master Archer past the 200 meter marker, and here's Darkness now putting in a strong claim. Darkness now is coming on powerfully at Master Archer over the last 100 meters. Master Archer and Darkness, there's nothing in it, but Darkness coming on to win it. And Darkness has won it, Master Archer second, Anima Chalzadek third, and then came Gurkha Chief. Well, if you're backing on Omens today, the first race was Bright Shining. The second race was Darkness. They've taken a very nice double. And uh, this son of Toriador, still on the big side, but very impressive was Darkness. Sean Cormack, Dennis Dreyer for Haug and Blank. And they end up winning it, bred by the Alchemy, and one easier in the end than the margin suggests. So number six is Victorious. Second goes to number 12, Master Archer. Beaten that three part or a length in number two, Anima Chalzadek runs into third position. And the fourth position that goes to Gurkha Chief. That's number three from number one, Fabric. That is exactly how it's looking at Clearwood today. And it was a really strung out field. You see a couple of horses obviously not acting in the condition. So they were stretched out many lengths. But Master Archer, the leader, and Darkness now gets into the race. And then runs on really powerfully to end up winning uh, a bit cosily at the business end by about a length and a quarter. The race time that has flashed up is 7 tie, comma, 5 3. Just a reminder to take note, third race, next race up. Also up the straight, starts off the place accumulator, back to the studio. The running of race number two at Clearwood has gone the way of darkness, trained by Dennis Dreyer, ridden home by Sean Cormack. Uh, Sean, great to have a winner first time at the track. It's also very hard in this sort of going for the, for the first timers. Uh, take us through the race. Yeah, you know, um, we got you this morning in the penetrometer, I think it was 22 or so, so the r uh, recorded penetrometer was. And I'll tell you what, it's a, it's a lot heavier than that. Um, and obviously with this downpour that we've just had, it's got very, very heavy. Um, but uh, that was my only concern with this horse. You know, I know he's got a lot of ability, and I, I knew he'd run very, very well. Um, but you know, when you've got this sort of these conditions, you don't know how they're going to perform. But he just did. He was an absolute professional. He went down to the start like he'd been here three times. He uh, jumped out. He was a little bit slow. He was in behind them, and he just travelled and just did everything right. Got a split, and then uh, quickened up really well through. Uh, he, he ran. He ran like an old horse, and uh, just obviously. Thank you very much to the owners and, uh, you know, and obviously to the boss in Cape Town and to Stu, he's been doing the work while we've been in Cape Town. And uh, just, yeah, thank you to them. And then, Sean, uh, just uh, while I've got you, uh, can you uh, touch on Beach Beauty yesterday? Yeah, what's to touch on? Eh? She's, a, she's a star. She just, um, she just is just a pleasure to be involved with, her, uh, with the syndicate and the story and, and, and just everything that she just does. She, you know, she performs, you know, Race in and race out, she just gives her 100% and she produces classy performances all the time. Uh, she did just need it yesterday, but still came through, uh, you know, producing a classy, classy performance. And, um, yeah, just very fortunate to be involved with her and, uh, and to everybody else. Great stuff, Sean. Well, if we uh, do race the rest of the meeting, good luck with your card. Yeah, let's just see how it goes. You know, it's still coming down. And, um, uh, yeah, I've got a few more chances, and uh, I just want to say thank you to my sponsor, Highlands. They're doing a great job. Thank you. Great stuff. Good luck. Let's get through, Stu. Careful there, Stu. Oh, it's a bit wet out, eh? Yeah, going bad. Yeah, going bad, even inside, yeah. Stu, take us through this one. Yeah, no, like Sean said, you know, he's obviously a really nice horse, and, uh, uh, you, know, you know, he won a really good notion today. Uh, anything else for the day? Yeah, listen, well, if we get there, I think um, Red Label and next year must have a, she must have a good chance. Your first run wasn't bad, and then... Um, 
Tipo and the Philly in the last, uh, they, you know, they play well and uh, you know, they won't mind the going, but uh, we'll see. Just, you know, obviously very well done to Knut and Greg and good luck to Dennis. 100%. Congratulations. If you wouldn't mind passing on uh, our congratulations to the owners and to Dennis. Well, there, thanks. Thanks, Drew. There we've seen the running of uh, race two go the way of darkness. Congratulations to Dennis Dreyer, to Sean Cormack and to the owners. We're going to need the Ninja Turtles to save us from this weather. Hopefully we get through some more racing.